Sit down and listen closely. Before they were gone, humans made robots to keep civilization alive. We robots turned out to be just like how humans were, apathetic and broken. Welcome to Retropolis, a marvelous city, 100% mechanical, designed for one purpose only, to keep the past alive forever. You know, the good old days, when the economy was booming and the women were beautiful. But if you walk down the city streets, all you can find is loneliness, greed and betrayal. My name is Philip Log. I was fashioned to be a detective for the RPD. I was good at my job because I'm not the kind of robot who does what he's told. I went after leads even if they took me to the higher levels of the city. That's how I lost my partner. That day I left the force and became a private eye. Sure, the pay isn't great, but I do have some crazy stories to tell. At last, a job. Hello, Philip. It's your landlord. Do you know why I'm calling? Because you're lonely. You're a funny guy. Have... If you don't pay me the rent by the end of the week, you're out on the street. How can you do this to me? Don't you have a heart? No. Oh, man. I need a drink. empty. That's my trash bin. That's where I keep all my unpaid bills. Screws are expensive. I'm trying to cut back to a pack a day. These are my cabinets. I should tidy them up a bit, but I'm awfully lazy. In fact, I'm so lazy I barely walk around. I just stand in one spot and shoot my hands around. No, I don't want to go out. My landlord might see me. Mmm, I love jazz. It makes my drinking seem much more sophisticated than it really is. That's me and John from way back. I was so happy then, and he was so not dead. This is my table. I put things on it. The future is fascinating, isn't it? I never found out who were the crooked cops who killed John, or who they were working for. I'm not in the mood for games. RCC, how may I help you? Uh, could you buy me a drink? You do sound good looking, but I'm working right now. When do you get off work? Just in 500 years. I can't promise I'll be around by then. I've got your number. I'll check on you. Thanks for calling, RCC. There it is. I better take a small step and that's it. That's a strong drink. Oh, I think it's a good one. I'll just rest my head for a damage. Of all the offices, of all the private investigators, and all of Retropolis, she had to walk into mine. Is it because I'm the only robot stupid enough to work as a PI in this city? I can't remember. I'm drunk right now. I hope you don't.
don't mind that I let myself in, Mr. Log. The door wasn't locked and I don't want anyone to see me. People may talk. Jenny Montage, the famous movie star standing right in front of me. I gotta hide my flask before she finds out I'm all boozed up. Say, aren't you married to that big shot senator? Is he the reason you don't want to be seen here? It's not what you think, Mr. Log. Have you seen any of my films? What do you think about them? I'm your biggest fan, Mrs. Montage. You were made to be a star. Well, some critics say I tend to overact. That's not your fault. It's your algorithms. Back in the day, I thought life was like a romantic movie. I was a no-name singer with big dreams. I married an ambitious businessman. Marriage is a career move. What could go wrong? Politics corrupted him. After he was elected senator, he, he became cold and abusive. What a bastard. He crossed the line, and so I ran away. I don't want to be a star anymore. I don't want anyone to own me. I want to be free. That's a hell of a story, but this is not an audition. It's a place of business. What can I do for you? Last night we were arguing. He got violent and tore out my sapphire nucleus. Sapphire what? My sapphire nucleus. It's the famous gem I always wear on me. I need you to get it back, tonight. My services are expensive, Mrs. Montage. I hope you can afford them. This is all I could gather for your down payment. I hope it's enough. Wow. Even your money smells good. I'm pretty sure my husband is keeping the sapphire nucleus in his ivory suitcase. He's a very dangerous man. Don't let anyone see you. I think I'll take my car. My car is right behind me. Use the joystick on the controller to rotate. Jenny's husband wasn't some run-of-the-mill politician. Before he was elected, Senator Merrick made his fortune producing hit movies, so he knew how to manipulate public opinion. A robot without a job is like a bottle without booze. It's useless. Can someone please tell me? What are homeless robots good for? I say, grind them all. I tailed the senator as he went downtown, where you can find all the faulty robots he hates. I guess that includes me. It seems like Senator Merrick is occupied, the way a married man shouldn't be. The ideal time to get his suitcase. Excuse me, ladies. Can you help me out for a minute? Hello? Hello? Merrick. What can I say? He's a man of words. Hey, mister, can you give me a hand? Scram out of here, you little punk. I'm not gonna knock on a random door. Hmm, the handle's missing.
It's running electricity to the security bars and some other buildings I'm not interested in. I'm not going in there. I don't want to catch anything. This is my chance to get to the senator's suitcase. I can't leave without it. Let me see what you're smoking there. Hey, give it back, Rust Bucket, or I'll cut you in half! You see, that's why they say smoking is bad for you. You're welcome. It's running electricity to the security bars and some other buildings I'm not interested in. Well, I appreciate you giving me a hand. I'm not gonna cut them off. It's a major felony in this city. Uh, killing that homeless guy isn't really my thing. Even if this saw was working, I wouldn't cut this. Even if this saw was working, I wouldn't cut this. Even if this saw was working, I wouldn't cut this. Even if this saw was working, I wouldn't cut this. Car battery. Must be useful for something. That's not how you use a battery. 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 He'll be fine. His friends can repair him. If he has any. The city is known for its powerful magnets. Yeah, right. Al's legitimate auto shop. Nothing suspicious here. Looks like they're empty. I don't want to spill my booze. I want it back, okay, pal? <laughs> Farewell, my dear flask. Hey, who turned up alone? Won't open. Easily. It's a police drone. They don't usually come to these parts of the city. What does the police have to do with Jenny? I need to use something to open these bars. It's useless without a power source. working. Uh, oops. I should get out of here before they notice it's missing. A suitcase within a suitcase. So satisfying. I met Jenny later that night. She was tense as a wire, but I was only interested in one thing. Her money. Hey. <gasps> Mr. Log, you almost frightened me to death. You've got nothing to worry about, Miss Montage. I got the suitcase. What are you waiting for? Give it here. 
Now, let's discuss my payment. Since it was a high-risk job and I lost my dear flask, I believe I deserve a cut from the sale. What sale? You're gonna sell that diamond and I want in. I don't know what you're talking about. Save your lies to the camera, Miss Montage. I know all about runaway wives like you. You know nothing about me. If you take the sapphire nucleus from me, I'll have enough energy left for 24 hours. After that, I just shut down and lose all my data. Hmm. You should have told me that before. Why bother? You already know everything about runaway wives like me. Did anyone tell you back here, Mr. Log? No one saw me. I think. Why is the police after you? It's not the police, Philip. It's my husband. Here she is, boss. And the scrub bot is still your suitcase. There you are, darling. You know I don't like losing my things. No, please. You used to love me. Why are you doing this to me? It was supposed to be a secret, but... Uh, what the heck? I'm selling you off. You're a monster, Merrick. A monster. No, darling, I'm a robot. And so are you. Hey, buddy, that's my client. Now let her go. Huh? Really? What are you going to do about it? I'll rip that mustache right off your stupid face. Go ahead. I'll buy myself a better one. Ah, you won't get away with this, Merrick. When I look at you, I see a loose cog in the machine. You better tighten yourself up, Tiger, or you'll fall. Target, Philip Long. Yes, boss? That bot has a problem. Fix him. Right away, boss. I'm all fixed up, really. You, you don't need to do this. That's what they all say. <laughs> <laughs> 